there are some issues, at least from my perspective, that I think really um, are of importance here. And um, one of those has to do with really there is a, a predominant lack of match between math instruction that occurs in schools and, and really what the needs are of struggling learners. And that arises for a bunch of reasons. Um, one, one of those has to do with the fact that uh, for the most part, um, there's not the type of knowledge base about the needs of struggling learners um, on the part of educators who are implementing math instruction. And so that's one issue that, that, that's there. Um, a second issue is that uh, in reality, most teachers who are teaching in our schools, um, and I include myself when I was a teacher, uh, really weren't prepared to teach mathematics um, for a lot of reasons, but, but, but mostly because our teacher preparation programs uh, don't, don't emphasize uh, mathematics pedagogy um, uh, to the extent they do reading, except for, for example. Um, so when you have those, those two combined and you've got uh, issues of um, uh, educators not really understanding the content, what it is that they're teaching in a way that can really lead to meaningful learning on the part of kids who are struggling. It also leads to avoidance by, by us educators. We tend to think, well, it, math's not quite as important as other things like reading. Um, and that's particularly true at the elementary level, I think. Um, and, and there you run into problems where kids begin to miss important concepts, ideas. They, they develop gaps, and when you develop gaps, uh, particularly in a field, in a discipline like mathematics, uh, that catches up with you uh, as you move through the middle grades and eventually to high school when it's time to uh, pass uh, either state test or, or uh, content test uh, for algebra and, and geometry, which are uh, gateways to graduation and receiving a standard diploma. So, uh, so those are, I think, important uh, uh, things to consider. At the secondary level, while, while secondary folks who are, who, who are becoming highly qualified according to NCLB, um, teachers, they have, they have to have the equivalent of a, of a math major. Um, they don't get near the, the pedagogy, the, the, the how to teach uh, that they need, particularly as it relates to students with, uh, with learning problems or who are struggling or have some type of disability. So pedagogy is an issue for them. So what really happens is there's really a poor match between the content knowledge and the pedagogy and, and that just meets uh, the road where uh, um, kids lose because uh, our teachers really aren't prepared. And, that, and that's not a condemnation on teachers uh, at all. It is, it, it's, it's what we as teacher educators and those who prepare teachers, it's our, uh, our problem that, that we're not addressing in ways that we should. A third really important issue is um, that the research and practice base, what we know about effective mathematics instruction um, for struggling learners is not where uh, we need to be. Um, it's lacking and um, and again I, I draw comparisons to mathematics and reading because there are some similarities in, in what the field of reading and literacy has um, gone through and the battles they've, they've fought uh, in relationship to what, what general ed people do, what special ed people do. They've, they've gotten a lot closer in terms of a vision whereas in mathematics we're still not there. And, um, and again, there's some reasons for that. One is that uh, our, our research base in mathematics instruction for uh, students with disabilities or students who are struggling is limited in scope. It, it primarily has focused on uh, pretty basic mathematics concepts and, and by and large um, issues with computation. Um, and that's just a very small aspect of what mathematics uh, is. Um, there's also been, there's really not a lot of replicability in, in our research base. Uh, so we, uh, we have some good research, but it's only small uh, in, in scope and, and, and we don't have uh, replicable studies that verify that, yeah, it worked here, 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 and that, that we have much more confidence in terms of, of uh, its effectiveness. So to me, those are some important issues in relationship to mathematics, uh, why kids are struggling, and well, how, does, how can RTI play a role in this? Well, uh, some of the positive aspects of RTI, uh, one of, the, one of the, the most positive ones in my estimation is, is the emphasis on, on use of data to guide instruction. And um, of, of 
the literature in the, in the field of special education, um, this uh, use of data to guide instruction ha has continually been one of the strongest uh, implementation practices in terms of effectiveness. So, so that is, you know, paramount. Um, I think that lends itself to a concept of problem solving about teaching rather than uh, you push a button or you plump this curriculum down that's a package and you, and you do it and that's, that's going to be effective and if it's not then well okay well a, a student or child must have a disability. Where we're really moving I hope and what I think RTI has to offer is that it, it, it is a, a really a, a process that can be a problem solving process where, where truly you, you look at the individual student's needs, what's going on and then making choices about instructional practices that, um, that then uh, have a more uh, greater likelihood of being uh, effective. Another thing is that hopefully it will compel the field to uh, be more, um, uh, uh, well, to be, to be stronger advocates for, for quality research in relationship to mathematics and that it becomes important. Um, and uh, because, like I said, we, we, have, we have practices that we know are effective and we need to start using those. Um, but we don't know a lot. Uh, there's a lot more that we can know and should be trying to, to know. And so I think that that uh, in and of itself is, it could be an important aspect of RTI in relationship to math and struggling learners. One of the, the most important um, uh, areas of impact I think RTI can have in terms of mathematics instruction for struggling learners is, is the emphasis on using data uh, to make instructional decisions, both to evaluate how well students are learning, but, but most importantly how well our instruction is impacting that learning. Um, and that's very important I think uh, uh, hopefully will be uh, a major contribution of RTI to, to mathematics instruction, uh, particularly for kids who are struggling.